Good morning and welcome back to On The Fly with your host, The Cyber Hitchhiker. Uh, it's been a little over a week since the last one. I did the first three pretty quick. So the last one I did was basically on your Facebook cover pics and well, your Facebook cover page uh, cover pic and how you have to design it in a way for it to be responsive to fit on different screens and that's why you sometimes see pieces and bits and pieces of your important information sometimes gets cut off now i thought i'd take this a bit further because i know a lot of people ask me about your youtube banner that youtube asks you to put up when you've got a youtube channel and especially if you want to brand it to make it look the way you want to and customize your channel uh, you only see a very thin strip but your actual size, as we can see here, that Google, that, that YouTube wants you to, to make your banner is 2560 by 1440, which is just up from HD. So if you design your, your YouTube banner to this complete size, that's awesome. But when you put it onto YouTube, the only thing you see is basically let me put these all up for you so let's start with the white strip basically all you really see on a desktop is this little area here the 2560 by 423p but you've got an entire viewing area which is for another screen if you're on a tv so you've got to make sure that all of your important information is in the white area but more important than that you've got to make sure that it's within this area as well because this is what a tablet screen will see, 1855 by 423. And you've also got to make sure that it's within the yellow area, which is where your cell phone screens and tablet screens come in. And that's 1546 by 423p. So this is my advice for you today. When you are approaching your design, or if you are doing your designs yourself, as a lot of people are trying to do at home now, and I'm probably going to do a series on what free software you can use to do design work for social media yourself. Uh, not obviously as good as a graphic designer, but it is right up there to being very close to basically use being your own graphic designer. Um, and I'll go through some of these free software programs that you can use online in later episodes of On The Fly. So getting back to this, so basically what you have to do is have all of your important information, like I said before, in the, in the yellow area. Because it's going to get cut off down to that anyway. So you've got to start there. So all of your, your important bits need to be in there for people to see who you are. And within that for tablet, with tablets and within that for the desktop. So let me, let me just show you here quickly. This is my YouTube banner for the Cyber Hitchhiker account. And this is how it's designed. Now, you can see that it's designed to cover for a TV. So if you're on a massive TV, that is what you see on your screen when you click onto my YouTube channel. If you are on a desktop, you will only see this thin strip. And you can see I've put all of the extra design work in that strip. But then as the strip gets smaller, you will see that some of the arrows are already starting to get cut out because that you won't see them on a the tablet, but you can still see my major info here. And if you go one down to tablet screen, which I've just done, you will see like I showed you. And then let's just go to the last one. And that's what you will see on a phone. So you will see that all of my relevant information is in this area for people to see. But the entire design is designed within an area of 2560 by 1440 but I make sure that all of my info for my text is 1546 by 423. Guys thank you very much for joining into on the fly again this morning it's always a pleasure and it is awesome doing these little videos for you I hope you guys enjoy them and we will catch you on the fly. <laughs>